All right. So some other things about crates. You want to sit for a second, Kai? Thanks. Is to have the crate in your familiar place, just open, letting the puppy go in if they want to. And maybe putting some interesting things in there for them. So, I know. Mine. In here, I have her dinner bowl. I normally have this canvas crate in the dining room. Leave it, please. And I feed her inside of it. You'd start with feeding her inside of it in the open crate. Yes. I would put her full meal in there, but I want to get to closing the door. The other thing, do you want more? The other thing is, for dogs or puppies, you put in interesting things. Cuddle toy. It's fairly durable, so she can't bite it off. Kai's allergic to raw bones, sensitive to that. So since she has her adult teeth and I can give her something hard like a bone, I'll put in an Elkhorn. This is Mr. Peppermint. He's kind of soft, almost the texture of a finger, and it was great for when she was a puppy, if she would accidentally mouth me, I'd just give her this instead and she could go to town on it. And I would normally give her a Kong as well. So throughout the day in the open crate, I might decide to hide some things in there. She can go and get them. She can take them out, but the crate provides all the great things. And her, for her to have. Once I batted things with the uh, door involved, which is a little bit different because this is a mesh door with a zipper, then I would start putting things in the closed crate, uh, at least partially closed, so that she had to figure out how to get inside and get to these things that she really, really likes. So we'll move on to that with the crate door hanging low.